going, and I'm going to call on Melvina to do a pretty prayer for us. Edora Galandi hai, ojali heli gahande ski ajin ho. Nimna de chadosta heli do hes, nigari ski ho ni do hes. Oswati lohi ajalegi ska duke. Father, we just thank you for this beautiful day. We just thank you for all your blessings that you have bestowed on this nation. Lord, we just ask you be with each and every one and guide us as we go for the betterment of Cherokee Nation. Again, we thank you in your name. Amen. Amen. Shelly, can we do roll call? Yes, sir. Sean Crittenden? Here. Wes Snowfire? Keith Austin? Here. Danny Callison? Here. Julia Coates? Here. Joe Deere? Here. Mike Dobbins? Here. Rex Jordan? Here. Johnny Kidwell? Here. Daryl Legg? Here. Dora Petskowski? Here. Joshua Sam? Here. Mike Shambaugh? Here. Melvina Shot Pouch? E.O. Smith? Here. Condessa Cheehy? Victoria Vesquez? We have a quorum. I'd like to ask for a motion for approval of the minutes. Second. All right, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Go down to reports, vocational programs, talking leaves, job corps, career services, Diane Kelly. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you have my report, and I just wanted to let you know that uh, we're getting ready to start those summer programs in the month of June. But that's just about two weeks away, and uh, we've got several things going on. We, we anticipate uh, over a 1,000 kids in all of our activities, so we'll give you a rundown after June and let you know. But uh, we're getting ready, and uh, we've also got uh, plans to do a early graduation, GED graduation. We're not going to wait as late as we have in the fall. We're going to try to have one late summer, so that way we can have a graduation for our GED students this year. Uh, the report shows you our lineman graduation. Uh, Chief Hoskin, Deputy Chief Warner was there to help present the uh, certificates for the linemen. And then we also had a fiber graduation in conjunction with it. And then uh, Talking Leaves is ramping back up. We have 87 students right now and our capacity is 197. And we've had to take our rooms that had four kids and spread the kids out amongst the uh, center for the pandemic so we're trying to do all of the safety precautions and then uh, we had a resignation and Julie McPeak is our OACTS supervisor and she is the acting uh, recruitment and placement manager right now and she works out of our Oklahoma City office but she's down here on a NAS need basis and she'll be here tomorrow on Wednesday and uh, we're trying to get the center full. So if you know of anybody that's 16 to 24 years of age uh, that needs a place to stay and learn a vocation or get their high school diploma or their GED, then Job Corps is the place and we can help you out. So give us a call. Um, George Roach is uh, working with our Surge Tech program. They have a graduation scheduled for May the 27th, uh, which is the end of the month. And they'll have their graduation in the council chambers and it'll be at one o'clock. And we are recruiting for the fall semester, which starts in August. And uh, got some st uh, students. Uh, we got some nursing students, and we gave you a rundown of where they're at. And we're doing a, a massive recruitment effort to try to get more nurses, uh, working with uh, the health department, Wayne Caldwell, Brian Hale, Steve Jones, to get some more nurses. We've got all these job recruitment fairs, and we're setting up tables for nursing, anybody that's in, interested in nursing and in child care. And also we're doing the Job Corps recruitment in conjunction. And then uh, we will uh, finish that out. And then in June, we're going to start doing recruitment for our construction sites, housing and commercial construction. We're going to be identifying uh, generals, uh, people that are bonded, people that can uh, go in as a subcontractor, or people with license in plumbing, electrical, uh, carpentry, drywallers, curbing, whatever. We'll have all those vocations, and we're going to go all over the 14 counties uh, having these recruitment fairs, and then we'll do it again in the spring of 23, and then we'll do it again in 24. So that way we can keep a running list of these contractors or these people that want to work in that field. So. We'll be starting that in July. So we'll be in your areas and we'll let you know. And then we have a flyer on the back about our fiber tech program. Are there any questions? Any questions for Diane? Mr. Lake? Diane, on the uh, construction uh, trainings that you're going to do, is that going to be with the ARPA funds? Uh, 
Yes, it is. Let me ask you this. Is it uh, now we're not doing that. We're going to be identifying the people that can actually go out there and bid on these projects or work as a laborer or a skilled laborer with the generals and the subcontractors for our our uh, commercial projects that we have and then also all of our housing well is the is the uh, criteria going to be for Cherokee only since it's ARPA or can it be anybody it's going to be anybody okay because we've got so many projects that's what I was, and that's... what we're going to do is ask those people to sign a form that they will hire our tribal members to work on those projects gotcha. thank you speaker Dan did you uh, go to the Stillwell strawberry festival Yes, I did. Did you? Did they have a parade? Yes, they did. Well, did you have anything to do with that parade? I didn't announce this year because I had other things going on. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, I yeah. was just wondering. But you'll hear me at the holiday. Okay. Well, I was just checking on you. That's all I wanted. Oh, I was there. Okay. My, my activity started a little earlier. Okay. Thanks. Any other questions? Anyone? one. Diane, just uh, don't surprise me a bit, but that event that you hosted or co-hosted with the Stillwell alumni always does a great job. And, Thank you. Uh, man, proud to, proud to be your neighbor and friend and things like that. Latest on flood damage at, at Walmart, the, the old Walmart. What's the oh, latest there? Uh, I sent out an email to let you know that we have moved. I apologize, I didn't tell you. Uh, we uh, had flood up at our new office in Stillwell uh, in the career services area as well as in human services. And uh, everybody was up there the next day. Uh, David Moore and his group had the contractors up there trying to get it cleaned up. And uh, Jennifer and I were trying to find office space. It took us about three days, but we got everything moved. And uh, Career Services is down in the old tribal complex down behind the courthouse and the post office, and we're sharing space down there with the 911 and the marshal services. So we'll be relocated down there. We, the only thing that we're not going to be able to do is do testing. So anybody that was coming in for testing will have to come over here to Tahlequah. And I think there's one more staff person that we've moved back over to Tahlequah. But other than that, we are making space available for all of our people that were up there. And Jennifer is located in the building that is in the parking lot of Mr. B's shopping center mm -hmm. where people pull through to get their shots. Well, she's there. And then I think a couple of her people are going to be working down there with us at the old tribal complex. Mm -hmm. But we should be there. I believe they told us maybe four to five months because they have to go in and do some of the uh, wiring that got damaged with the flood. Thank you, Diane. No more questions? All right, Eo. Uh, on the COVID vaccine, they lifted that for some employees, right? Did lifted they? it? What do you mean? I'm sorry. Well, they don't have to have their shots go now? Some help? Uh, are you oh, when they come in, we'll work with them, but we're going to encourage them to get their shot or else they fill out the form for medical or they fill out the form for religion. But therefore, what what one saying they wouldn't hire nobody that did that didn't have a shot. This was back during the pandemic. Okay. But no, they can come in and make an application. If they don't have the shot, we are still placing them. There are some places that will not accept somebody who is not vaccinated, mm -hmm. and we are encouraging everybody that comes in to get the vaccination. So they can still come in and, and sign up. Yes, sir. They can. Uh, We're not thank turning anybody away. <laughs> thank you. Good good question, sir. Well, there's no more questions for Diane. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, Executive Director's Report, also doing Sequoia High School, uh, Mr. Mark Vance. Good afternoon, Council. <clears throat> you have my report? Got any questions? Any questions for Mr. Vance? I've seen uh, Mr. Callison's hand first there. Yeah, Mr. Bent, uh, do we, uh, when we do the JOM, do we not do for uh, private schools at all? It's just all public education. Is that what it is? That's correct. Is that because of the funding or, or because of us or what? It's just the funding purposes. Okay, thank you. Mr. Austin? Uh, Mark, I, I uh, see that on the concurrent enrollment numbers, we had 496 applications, 20 denied, and, and 9 canceled with approval of uh, 467. 
of those 20 denied, uh, just like we were talking in, in medical earlier about health earlier about we always want to find out why people are denied okay. something. Okay. Uh, is there a reason? Is, is there a general reason why these are denied? Are they in, are they applications that were not were they not qualified? What do you know? The most that? reason is they missed the deadline. Is always is the main concern. But yes, you're right, Mr. Austin. We need to find out exactly why and how can we help them yeah. to get qualified. Because uh, you, you, I actually think. That, that top number may need to say a, t a total qualified applicants. <laughs> okay. Because if they applied after the fact, they really didn't apply. Correct. Typically, you know, technically. So, uh, but that, if you're so in 20, 20 of them denied, but they weren't people who actually applied, you know, had complete applications or within the deadline, that really might not be considered in a denial. Okay. I'll check into that. But I'd love to see us find every way possible to make it every single person qualified and get them in the right time frame and everything. Thank you. Mr. Deer. Hey, Mark, I just want to say thanks, man, for your help. Um, a lot of those stoles and stuff that went out, I mean, everybody's been to graduations lately, and they look pretty keen for that, and the guy in Dallas was very appreciative. So he got asked a bunch by other people that were down there, how'd you get that? And they were Cherokee. Yes. And he said, just got to apply. That's right. And uh, But I just want to thank for your help in getting that to him. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank Good. you, sir. You're welcome. Any other questions concerning Sequoia or the executive director's report? Ms. Teehee. Hi. I don't really have a question. I just think that everything going on with Sequoia High School is just outstanding. I'm always such a proud, uh, proud proponent of Sequoia High School. Everything is, is just wonderful. The way they prepare students to uh, take the next step in their academic journey is, is outstanding. And uh, uh, is, we have graduation coming up. Yes, soon, Friday, right? 6.30. No right. gym. How many graduates are we? At 90, close to 90, right at 89, 90. So. All right, that's, that's just wonderful. Um, and then we're also going to be sending off our Remember the Removal soon, right? Yes, next Wednesday. Okay, I think that's the 25th. 25th. All right, and that's all female Remember the Removal, right? Yes, we're group, excited right? about that. I meet, meet the parents again Thursday night, so I'm excited about that. So. All right, fantastic. Well, hopefully several of us will be able to join you guys in, uh, in sending off those riders. And just want to commend you and your staff on the on the wonderful work being done at Sequoia High School as well. Thank you, Dr. T. All right. I'd like to to say how impressed I was with those riders and their introductions the other day. Uh, they spent a lot of time training, and obviously they spent a lot of time on our language. Uh, I was really impressed with them. So if you could send that back. Absolutely. Last chance for romance with Mr. Vance. Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like that's it. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good one, sir. You too. Uh, I'm going to have uh, Miss Verna Thompson with Head Start, man. Thank you. Uh, are there any questions from my report from last month? If not, I have a couple of things to share today. Uh, the Head Start children and the staff furloughed Friday, so they're off for the summer and they'll be back in early August. I was just sharing with Councilman Crittenden how quickly they come back and we've got so much to do. This is our busy season when they're all off and um, on the creek, we're working. But uh, kind of some bittersweet news today, Mary Canoe Scott, the cook at Early Head Start in, at Redbird behind C&I, is retiring after 18 years. I called her early, th early this morning and tried to talk her out of it. <laughs> but, uh, and she would have, I think, I mean, she really hates to go because we don't have a replacement and that's Mary to be so dedicated and wondering who's gonna take care of the children. But uh, we're happy for her. May 31st will be her last day. And uh, the state uh, DHS has started a new rating system. Right now, if you, are ha if you have a three-star rating, you are a top quality, early childhood operation and uh, we are there and child care is as well and now they're going to up it to five star and we challenged ourselves to have that five star by December so that's pretty ambitious and we hope to have it maybe by November but uh, we're also pleased that we got our notice for a COLA which is the cost of living allowance we're working with HR to see that everybody can get something in the last two years only 14 and four I think got it 
based on wage comparability. And, and you know as well as I do right now, child care workers are in high demand, and we need to pay them a competitive salary to get them to stay, to come and stay. But that concludes my report. Any questions? Julie, do you have something? Julie? Keith? Thank you. Anyone? Thank you, Verna. So down to old business, none pending, new business, none pending. Any announcements? All right, just need a motion to adjourn. All right, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? All right. Thank you. <laughs>